there's our ship in the harbor in Manaus. It's uh, Thursday, January 6, 2011. We're going on a tour this afternoon, but this morning we're going to uh, go to the Mikado and uh, walk around a bit. And it's hot and steamy. This city is always 80 to 85. It's right on the equator and very, very humid. But we're happy it's not raining at the moment. So the Amazon, which uh, we're looking out at, it's actually the ri River Negro. Uh, it's, uh, it's as low as it's going to get. The rainy season starts in December, goes to May, and uh, by May, the uh, water's almost to the top, right where that white line is there. And you say, well, how could that happen? Because the bridge is so low into the water, it'd be underwater. This whole uh, dock area here is a floating dock. So it'll rise as the river rises. Across the river here, you can see the, the rainforest. Uh, there's, uh, there's no roads over there. So everybody, as you can see, there's a boat leaving now. It's a water taxi. It takes people to their homes across the river. So what we have here is one of many uh, water taxis going to different locations along the river. Well, this is an old uh, colonial style building, which uh, unfortunately is in ruin. And a market. Just a busy city. Oh, we're in the fish market. And the meat market. So this is the uh, fish market, or Parara uh, Makara. Very busy harbor. All fresh water. We're uh, about 1,200 miles upriver from the mouth of the Amazon. What a busy harbor. So this is how everything travels on the river. Trucks. Toad and boats and back home. Again, because uh, other than the city here, there's uh, not many roadways. So what they're doing here is showing you uh, the boats that will take you down to these various uh, towns along the river. Uh, some of them would take uh, a couple of days to get down there. Well this is what I mean by the uh, hammocks underneath the underneath the roof and that's the, how they sleep for anywhere between two and eight, uh, eight days. Now the low-lying boats that are out in the water, this one is here, and uh, you can see a number, maybe four or five of them up this way. They're floating uh, gasoline stations. It's the simplest way to uh, gas up the, sh the boat on the river. Floating houses. You're going to be able to see so oh, this is a floating going, gasoline station. So more fish market. It's all fresh fish and there's no icing down. So by the end of the day, it's a lot cheaper. This 
structure here was uh, which is iron brought over from uh, France uh, originally they're rec reconstructing now but it was associated with Eiffel of Eiffel Tower fame so again all this iron work uh, and you can see they're doing reconstruction on the building back there all came from France trucked in in part, part and reassembled here in Brazil well, as the sign says, uh, Porto Freta, it's advertising that uh, Manaus is a duty-free port. And that's why all the people here, the price of goods, electronics, everything, substantially cheaper in the rest than in the rest of Brazil. Lunchtime in Manaus, Brazil. hot peppers and limes and tomatoes so these they make uh, bread out of or an equivalent of bread come from the palm trees oh this lady is uh, frying uh, bananas to sell and banana chips But right now we're at the uh, lowest level of the Amazon of the year. It looked like uh, I've been caught in a downpour of rain, which I may well have been in notes, of course. But that's not rain, that's sweat. The humidity level here is 19.9 So that's why I look like I've been around. But we had fun.